We're live. We're nobody, live. Nobody there though. Not yet. I'm waiting for somebody. Both people are going live. Oh, she said okay. <clears throat> she said okay. She's got a smartphone. She might figure it out. Oh yeah. She turned on her notification. She'll get a. I don't even have my notifications on, so I don't know when nobody goes live. I'll let her. Maybe we can let her know to hit that bell down there too. Yeah, hit the bell. There's a bell like uh, right there. <laughs> yeah. Right. See it down there? It's a bell. Ding ding. <laughs> Hello, people. There's no vlog today. Yeah, we can see. We can see. We got you on the Facebook Messenger. Oh, okay. You you can uh, at the bottom where it says live chat, just click that up, push it up, and you can text your content in there. At the bottom down below, if you got to turn yeah. sideways, turn your phone back the right way, and then at the bottom it says live chat. Just push that up. I don't know what kind of phone you got. Push it up, and then you can text in the comment box. There's three people here. Wow, you made, made it to three, man. man. Yeah. Everybody's over there in that Zello with that, uh, these trucking YouTubers. Yeah. That's where we hang out sometimes. And then we got the 42 Coffee Club now. 42 Coffee Club. On Zello. On Zello. G rated. Yep. We try. Exactly. We try. Yeah. So tell everybody your name. I'm Terry Barnes. I live here in Kentucky. I've been friends for almost a year thanks to. Uh, who do we say, Rudy or Chewbox? Chewbox and Rudy both, I guess. Yeah. Rudy. But I've really uh, uh, heard you through Chewbox. So we'll get on Rudy later. Yeah. We'll, we are going to get on Rudy. Hey, your daughter right there. Hi, Trish. There's your dad. There's your daughter. So uh, tell us about your career. Well, I drove for uh, close to 23 years. You're uh, medically retired. I'm medically retired, yeah. But uh, I came off the road in 2003, but uh, before I went on actually on disability and everything, I decided to just keep on working for a while. And uh, in 2005, it kind of hit me hard. And I didn't have a choice, but uh, hang it up. Hang it up. Hang it up. Did you wish you didn't have to hang it up? Yeah. I, I miss trucking every day. But thank you, you guys, you know, and... We Other. keep you entertained. <laughs> yeah, we keep, we keep me entertained. I try to keep the channel different from everybody else, but sometimes I'll join the crave to get the ratings. Oh, yes, yeah, I'll nice. admit it. I'll do it. But I do it for my daughter. So. Yeah, it's interesting. Going, you going through places where I've been, like the cabbage out there, the Oregon and all that. This winter's been pretty crazy, hasn't it? Not here, though. But like what I've gone through. <laughs> I was just watching a video last night, me going into South Dakota from Minnesota. And I think I put it at the end. Well, the vlog ain't released yet but at the end it, where you get the end clip now you got the end clip on YouTube where you can click old videos right, right. well I put that old video on that end clip and I was like it popped up somehow on YouTube I'm like hey we gotta watch this yeah yeah but it's been really, really mild winter here I mean you hardly ever had the no snow we got it all up there in the northwest well we like to share you know we just give it to y'all yeah, y'all like it better it took you six years to share it to us <laughs> well mail was slow Oh, or something. Mother Nature's been bipolar this year to us. I hear you. So who'd you drive for? Well, I started out with J.B. Hunt. J.B. Hunt. And uh, I drove for PTL for a little while, then I drove for uh, McClendon, and I drove for uh, MS Carriers, then last year. PTL's still around, isn't it? Yeah, PTL's still around. We know MS Carriers is no longer around. Yeah, that's the reason I quit, because I knew what they who they get ready to go with? Was MS Carriers a good company? Yes, before? they was. They were really good people. Real good people. I mean, almost looked like Swift trucks though, too. Yeah. Before that's they right. even merged. Well, they merged. That's right. That's right. But I, I enjoyed every minute out there on the road. Then uh, after MS Carriers, I went ahead and went to a little company over here in uh, Louisville called Pegasus. They get. They're pretty still, good. They're still around. Too, uh, as far as I know, I believe they are. Because uh, one truck. There's one of the drivers lives in my hometown. I see this truck parked over there. Yeah, you pretty much retired two years after I started. Yeah, just to basically, yeah. Good deal. Somewhere, we might have crossed paths. You never know. My first two years was with um, <coughs> Swift. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> That's when they merged. And 
West Terriers right about that time. Yeah. We were pulling their trailer. Yeah. We were complaining how junky they were. <laughs> well, they had some good trailers there for a while. And, uh, but I guess where they were starting to merge, they wasn't going to buy no more. And they just falling apart. So what do you think about this new Night Swift crap? Scary I don't fun. know. I don't know. It just... Do you kind of remind you of the railroads yeah. back in the day? Yeah. I mean, it you're does. old enough to know about the railroads monopolizing the industry exactly. and pretty much pushing the little guy out. That's actually what he's doing. That's man. what it's reminding me of. And now it's J.B. Hunt and who was it was talking about? Snyder. Snyder, yeah. Merging. No, no. Yeah. I know where trucking's going in 20 years. I bet you I know where it's going to go. It's going to go like the railroads did. Yep. There ain't going to be no mom and pop carriers. It's all going to be like seven companies in that Yeah, Yeah, um, I've been doing a lot of research and I'm afraid that a lot of these small companies are going to get booted out because of the EDLD. Yeah, I'm waiting for that too. I mean, we're That's doing I'm afraid it. Of. We're doing They're They're starting to figure, as you can see, I'm running more on a harder mile. They're starting to figure it out with us, you know. Yeah. And I'm not sitting and they're trying to figure if I have enough hours or not to go. And well, on the uh, on the electronic log, you have to just when y'all go to a ship or a receiver, you you got to go on on duty night driving, right? We, you know, technically, when you drive the truck into the dock, you're driving. Okay. So it should be in drive so, mode. So it will be in drive. So when uh, it hits the dock, I just hit sleeper and go back to sleep. Huh. Well. And then when I'm up here and have to do my little, you know, and it, it takes me less than a minute to go back there and close the door. So when I'm up here doing all my computer work, I'm on duty for two minutes doing my computer work. Yeah. Because I type it in real quick. Well, on paper log, we was required to make sure well, we you didn't have to show 15 minutes. Well, we showed it. Well, they told us 15 minutes to half an hour to unload and reload and all that stuff. Yeah. See and that of course, a 15 minute uh, vehicle inspection. That's the disadvantage of paper log right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, you're throwing away 15 minutes for no reason. It's something that's going to take you five minutes or less. That's exactly right. That system's minute by minute, so I save a lot of time. I, yeah, I try to stay off duty as much as I can. Alrighty. Your daughter loves you. Love you too, Trish. I, I told your dad I was taking you out on a hot date last night. I don't think he believed me. Hey, he, he, he'd be alright. He's got all kinds of money on him now. He's ready to go. <laughs> right. Yeah. I've seen a couple of George Washers over there. Maybe I've seen a bear, I think. <laughs> yeah, I hit the YouTube millions last night. Uh, I'm a millionaire, so this will be my last load, and I'm going to go home and sit. Now I got all the girls knocking on my door. Yeah. Yes, you do. Not like the old days when they were knocking on my door. Yeah. I'm not going to say how that happened. You know, one girl says, wow, he's amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. Huh. Well, like I said, uh, with the uh, watching your videos and videos and there of those people, I, I really enjoy. Well, Trucker Logic says my videos are just the worst on YouTube. Well, he about uses tips on bore hogs. Yeah. How about last time I seen that video? It's like, man, all this is just false that statements. Tr <laughs> trucker, that Trucker Logic is a joke. <laughs> oh, he's something else. I got, I kind of, he's probably blocked from this channel. So he can see us, but he can't speak it. Yeah, I don't care if we can, can see us or not. Uh, his channel stinks. Yeah, I, I guess I found out on Zelda today that I am not the only one that copyright strike that I did, and then dogs getting ready to. That will pretty much shut that channel down with three strikes. That'll limit him yeah. making things like that again. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we all want to agree to the, disagree. And, but still, you know, that's part of life. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, we're going to, we're definitely going to be uh, on both sides of the fence. Yeah. But we don't. I mean, people, we, people got the right to their opinions. Exactly. And their opinions ain't going to match with everybody else. You know, I got my own opinions because I've probably been out here a little bit longer and I might think, well, maybe this ain't right, you know, and I'm going to say exactly. something off the, off the hook and, you know, and they might not agree with dog or I, you know. Oh, yeah. Because they're a different generation, you know. I'm 44, but dog's in his 30. Ike's probably the same age as I am. I mean, we've both been driving the same amount of time. Yeah. But we just see things different, and people have their rights to them. You know? yeah. yeah. That's why we live in America. We're supposed to have freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, yeah. 
but you know, and then some things I do agree with them on, you know, this channel, this channel's, uh, how should I say it? You know how they got truckers flying a mile. Exactly, yeah. Well, I have my own foundation that I support bigger than that. And, you know, I do support truckers flying a mile. I did, did one video for yeah, a so woman who lost, yeah. lost her husband. I think you were in that video. Well, you were in Daryl Ward's video, yeah. too. But, uh, and that video's a hit. It's almost 100,000 views on that. Yeah, I noticed one. that, yeah. Like, holy cow. <laughs> it took so long on that, but, you know. Yeah. And it wasn't the best video. I didn't have all the stuff to make a great video out of it. What I could to throw it together in a short time, but um, my my organization that uh, I'm gonna start pushing for in September is uh, truckerschristmas.org because okay. they helped us out last year. So I figured in order to repay that, I'm gonna push it out there and then get people to help yeah. help them this year. That way they can get the families like me last Christmas were in dire need. You know, you're looking at Christmas coming and two kids, well technically three kids with our oldest, yeah. not having the money to give them the Christmas second year in a row. Right. So, you know, they helped us out last year, so I think that's how I'm going to repay them this year. I'm going to push it out there and, you know, get their donations up so they can help me more families than they did last year. Hopefully that plan works, but the way my plan go, it's like, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm real glad that uh, something like uh, Truck to Final Mile is, uh, came together but I don't know how many drivers that when I was out there was found dead in their trucks either by natural causes or not you know, and, I mean, they, and you know they're trying to get them home and, and it costs a lot to it costs a lot and that's you know I'm also you know not against them either but drivers should have health insurance exactly. the health insurance will pay eventually to reimburse yeah. them back or whoever put up the money to get that driver but drivers should also have a plan in case that fails out because I lost a friend well he was found in Joplin his wife lives up there just south of, near, New, near Indiana I think on this side of town and uh, they got his truck home they got him home and all that and you know I can't remember oh, Thomas was his name and a uh, big Christian man but I still don't know why he died in this I guess. It just happened. You should never know. There's time to go. Can't yeah. change that. Nobody's commenting today. I guess we scared everybody I guess you scared them away. They used to say, what? Oh, they're all over there in Zella <laughs> talking yeah. about us. I wouldn't doubt it. They're all over there in Zella. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah you know, people should support Truck with Final Mile. Help them out, too. You know. Yeah. Because it ain't cheap. But drivers should also have plan like me, you know, I got three friends that drive, drive trucks, that, like my best friend Michelle, she said if something happened to me on the road, she would get me home in her own truck, and she owns her own truck, so she works for Allied, and I, I'm sure Belinsky would get me home too, yeah. because Belinsky's a big company, they wouldn't even drive her out there like that. Yeah, it sounds like they are. They wouldn't do that, not like uh, CSRT, or no way, Southern Refrigerator, remember that? When they did yeah, that? I remember them, yeah, I remember that. Boy, they got a lot of grief on that Oh, yes, they did. They sure did. That was bad. It was. I mean, you know, a couple... That was just a year or two ago, too, wasn't it? When they did that. Three years ago. Was it? Three or four. I can't remember. I know they was... I mean, I seen a video that video how they treated that driver and the family. The driver's out there working, earning the money for him, and then dies in his truck, and they don't want to help him get him home. That's screwed up. That's screwed up. That's a big screw up. And I think the good Lord every day, uh, I made it back home safe and sound. I don't know, everybody's like, why are you going to retire in five years? Because 20 years in one job is long enough, man. It is. It's, it is. It's time to do other I'm, things and enjoy I'm not life. There, I'm not there at 23. I was going to try to push for 30, but, you know, health has started going. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, health is another reason, too, because, you know, I've another five years and my health is going to hold, is my back going to hold up all this balancing and I deal with back pains every day and, and you know, that's pretty much, uh, it's like JBS carriers, they wouldn't switch seat to the truck if I tell them it's killing my back, killing my back, they wouldn't switch the seat. And that's what led to me finally leaving them because it got so bad I had to get those shots, just to get the 
pain to go away. Oh, wow, yeah. And I can barely walk at times. Not like this truck, I don't have problems with these seats. I mean, they're pretty comfortable. You're just sitting up there. Of course, I drove cab over it most of the time, me too, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, they'll no make air you ride. Dead. No, no air, air ride. ride. Suspension cab. You're the first ones to axle be in. You're sitting head right, on. right on the steering. And yeah. Yeah, but if you get a head on, when you cab just go right over the top of the car? Just Unless about. you hit another semi dead on. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem here if you hit another semi. Yeah, it is. Had a little fender benders and all, didn't have nothing major, so that's, I'm just glad. I had that. a fender bender, all right, damn drunk drivers. Yeah, <laughs> I seen that on the video. You never did catch that guy, did they? No, they still, I talked to the officer about three weeks ago and stuff. Nope, he still gave you a damn license plate. Why you couldn't you catch him? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got the vehicle description and everything right off the license plate. The only thing my friends couldn't do is give me the name and own the vehicle mm -hmm. because they're in law enforcement and they can't do that. <laughs> I was like, geez. Well, I was just reading an article yesterday on Facebook. Got him on out of the lane deer. A woman's got her eighth conviction of DUI uh, in that same area. Huh. And she killed somebody finally. Wow. So now she's on her way to prison. So I made the comment, yeah, those cops can't catch drunks on the reservation. <laughs> yeah, right. But. I don't have nothing to drink for you. No, that's alright. I got. My fridge is empty. I got a drink in the car. In the car? Yeah, it's, it was, I, I froze it before I, before I come up here. It's still good and cold. I froze it. See, we got seven people and only one person commented. Oh, All right. We, well, we've got three likes, don't we? Yeah, we've got three likes. All right. We should have seven likes. Maybe Trucker Logic's going to screenshot this one. Make fun yeah, of screenshot. I'm sure you get my good side, Trucker Logic. Can you read between the lines, buddy? <laughs> here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just found that funny, man. It's like you proved nothing out of that whole thing. Hey, uh, and he doesn't know the. What was my GoFundMe account for? It's for my daughters, right? Right. Well, he shows that in that video. I'm like, you don't even know what the purpose of that GoFundMe is for. I don't know. It's not for the channel. It's for my daughter because Cecilia was born four weeks early. Yeah. And, and uh, most of that money, the guys who do it donate the 150. Went to gas for my wife to get back and forth to work, and it also leaves an option if people want to give my daughters gifts and stuff. That that option's there. You know? yeah. That's what it gets used for. It's not for us. Right. My wife had to spend a whole week driving back and forth. And when you're driving the Yukon with a V8 that only gets 16 miles a gallon and go 40 miles one way, yeah, it's gonna be a little expensive. Okay. We didn't have a pickup, but the pickup was still in the yard. I had the semi truck. Nobody knows how to, oh hey look, Brian finally showed up. Hey you, Brian! How you doing today, Brian? We got eight people that can't talk. Mm. Wait, minus two. We got <laughs> six people that can't talk. <coughs> Terry's daughter's in here too, say hi to Trish everybody. She's hiding there somewhere. Yeah. Probably shy. Yeah, she's shy. She can be shy. We'll get her out of her box. <laughs> we'll get her out of her box one of these days. Yeah. Just, she's laughing at us. Oh, is she? What are you yeah. laughing at, Trish? You should be here on camera with us. I told your dad to bring you too, huh? Yeah, I could. No, you won't. Oh, yeah, I will. Watch. <laughs> you're very good at doing that when you're not looking. That's my wife. She'll tell you. Starting my day where? Tucan Terry or uh, Kalamazoo? Nope. She don't know me very well, does she? No. <laughs> no. I got cameras hidden all over this truck. Yep. <laughs> There's a camera there, camera there, camera there. Well, it's actually back there, but... Yeah. I could get her and she wouldn't even know it. Nope. All she had to do is walk down the side of the truck and we got her on camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really like that surprise you and her uh, put together yeah, well, on your video. Well, I, I wish like I could have gotten more videos, but I like that. Try to ask the other big YouTubers for videos like that. I don't get replies back. And, well, never. She don't know this truck, does she? No, she don't know this, this truck. This truck's booby trapped with cameras everywhere. <laughs> it is. 
everywhere. You watch my videos. Well, today's vlog comes out. We'll have back view. We'll have a back view shot. Alan Tion, PA, Jessup, Maryland. Oh, Jessup, Maryland. Hauling what? Beer for us. She bringing us some beer. <laughs> beer 30. Well, that's a big place to uh, push up a fire. I mean, you been to that one? Uh, yeah. Jessup? Probably have, yeah, but it's been so long. It's a, I don't it's get a up truck that stop. Way it's a big old hotel. I think it's about five or six floors on it. Well, it's like my coworker, one of my friends. I watched his Facebook today. He said, I'm going to Oklahoma. And I go, yeah. And he put big letters. What? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. The same feeling. They sent me to Nogales, Arizona. And I was like scratching my head. <laughs> and back to Allentown, huh? Jello shots. I'll be right over. Yeah, she likes them. I'll be right over. Take me to your daughter's house. We're going to get drunk. Oh, wait. I got to work in the morning. <laughs> that wouldn't work too well. See, how you put that on a logbook? <laughs> you log it. Copy machine. My wife needs a new copy machine. You gonna go take her one? Jello shots, huh? Jello shots. Flaming jello shots? I don't know what she. I think I know just vodka and jello. I don't know what flavor she uses. Yeah. It's a deadly combination for me. <laughs> I stopped drinking hard liquor after the last black velvet spree one night I went on. I, you can ask my wife about that one. That was it. No more hard liquor for me. But, well, what happened to Mac Rogers, man? Where's everybody at? Are they out moving? Mac in there? I don't know. I invited him to come. I guess he's missing out, huh? Yeah. Missing out on the fun, and if I plug my phone in, it'll probably get hot. That's what it does lately. Yeah, it's already hot. I can't. See what? Sheep? Too hot. <laughs> Copy machines. Are you uh, copying? Uh... Never mind. I'll behave. Don't want to get me in trouble. Yeah, once upon a time, Trisha was trying to get me to take her to Florida. Some feller down there. I don't know what it is. Well, you should have took her to Florida and met the feller. Ah. At least she would've got, he would've got to meet her dad right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was, I so whatever know. his intentions was, probably would've got him in trouble. I don't know if she wants to go to Florida or not. South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina now, huh? Well, no, he's going to bring me over to your house. You can put up with me for the night. <laughs> oh, lordy. I can get away with it, too. I hear you. I ain't got a controlling wife, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Not like the last two were. Holy cow, I talked to a girl, boy, I've been in trouble for months. <laughs> I'm, I'm single, too, so... Hear that, lady? She's single. Let's find him a date. Yeah. <laughs> Me and me and Trisha will work on a date for Daddy. South Carolina. Let's go. I'm sitting there waiting on you. What what are you waiting on? Yeah. <laughs> she got a car? No. <laughs> I just uh, walk north about the old 53 miles and you'll be here. Yeah. I'll wait on you. Yeah, just keep on walking. We'll be right here in the green truck. I'll meet you out there on Bowman Ivory Road. <laughs> If it was that way, I had to come up on the road. Uh, is that a good road or a bad road? 421. It's right out here. Is it a truck friendly road? Well, sort of. It, it gets to the crook of here and there in spots. I'll grow wings and fly. But once you see me, you won't think about South Carolina anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You'll forget all about that guy in South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Is, I, is Logan watching Trish? I I have blue eyes, so you know. Yeah, I got blue eyes too. I know I know how to use them. <laughs> I'm surprised my wife ain't here making comments right now. She's probably watching. Half doubt it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you don't know me too well. <laughs> he on his game. 
Oh, he's on his game. He's on his game. That's my grandson, Logan. 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 My last girlfriend had a son named Logan. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, she named her uh, named him after a wrestler. I think it was her first name was Logan. Or Logan. Yeah. Who did you name Logan after, Trish? Was that was it a wrestler? Well, we named Erica after Daddy. Boy, she, she's sure living up to that name. <laughs> Wolverine. Yeah, the Wolverine. Wolverine! We're just sitting here waiting for all these people off Axemen. Axemen? Well, you got five likes now. Five likes, five views. Oh, now we got six views and five likes. Alright. Boy, we haven't blown up to a hundred views yet. What happened? I don't know. They saw me and said, oh my God. Yeah, Frank's, probably. Yeah, they said, he's, he, he's got Frank Stein in truth. I, I'm not liked very well, remember that. <laughs> I'm the most hated YouTuber out there. Maybe I should stop being so honest all the time. Well, like I said, it, it, it is time for all of them. I, everybody to get along. And everybody should get along. Even should, if, yeah. I don't agree on each other's opinion, but no way. Be a family again. Wasn't that what trucking was? Yeah. Off X Men. Yeah. JB Hunt ain't like what they used to be either anymore, are they? No. Yeah, Cab over back then, right? Yeah, Cab International with the double bunk. Yeah. Now, the first truck had wasn't a double bunk, it was just a single bunk. She's moving to South Carolina. You should move to Idaho with us. Uh, are you uh, going to move to Murder Beach or what? have this heat and humidity anymore. I hear you. Hey, well, I like that part of North Idaho. Yeah, North Idaho ain't bad. I mean, oh. we get humidity, but when we get humidity, you know, a storm's coming in the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. We well, just like the, the other day, uh, well, Father's Day, it was so humid there that I knew it was a year storm, and it wasn't a couple hours later, we got a good one. Well, that storm I was chasing across Kansas that stayed behind the whole time. Yeah. I just go to South Carolina until he goes back to the <coughs> Oh. Bless her little pee, thick and hard. <laughs> <laughs> Is he a millionaire? Is he your sugar daddy or something like that? <laughs> <coughs> you know he has to get daddy's approval, right? He oh, okay. Yeah, and then she just laughs. Yeah. <laughs> she just laughs. Yeah. She's chasing fellows in the east. I think you should go find a sugar daddy that's like 60 years old and ready to croak. There you go. Has millions of dollars. Yeah. He's got one foot in the grave and the other one on an appeal. Yeah. I don't know how much fun that would be, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are you talking? Maybe we should give him the dead sign. She, she, uh, I told Trish she was in my backyard. She don't believe me. Look at there's my backyard right here, oh, Trish. My camera's facing Yeah, we're in the backyard. I'm in your backyard, Trish. What? See, I'm in your backyard. Did you see that? See, there's my backyard, Trish. Right there. <laughs> backyard. <laughs> I hear now, whatever. She's like, that's her favorite saying, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> I'll be in your backyard. You might like that, though. I don't know how I can get a big truck. Actually, that's about right, though, if you think about it, Brian, because this truck I'm driving, this truck, and Terry's gonna confirm it's decked out, isn't it? Yeah, for good. You don't mean you fridge right there, leather yeah. seat. You're sitting in leather seats in a semi truck. Would well, you ever thought about that? No. no. It'd be <laughs> some cloth ones we used to have. This on. truck alone, I heard, was $164,000 just alone. Well, hello, Russia. How you doing? You got Russia here. Hey, Russia. So that would probably be about right because they ain't got no balloon payment either at the end. 
and like I said, this truck brand new is one hundred sixty-four thousand dollars. That trailer I'm packing back there is a Great yeah. Dane, so it's probably around eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, but Great Dane's always been heavy on the nose. Yeah, always. Hello, DC Life. Even all okay. the drive vans are heavy. So yeah, you're looking probably what? My math is good. One hundred sixty-four. Eighty. Maybe about two hundred seven thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Around two hundred thousand plus. Well, well, I really, I think uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollar piece of equipment sitting right here. I'm under. Yeah, and I might, you know, I believe, uh, and that ain't including the twelve thousand dollar APU on it. I believe a little dog in the uh, like a bottom doing the. Uh, I think yeah. they got a heck of a deal they on the equipment. Deal. Yeah, they did. Compared to what I'm driving, it's a little bit more money. Yeah, and I believe that they're, you know, of course they none of our business what they didn't make, but you know, I don't really. Uh, little they're, dog does in the truth it out there because I work for a small company. That's the decision why I don't want to go on or off because I'm pretty much making the same they are the time they take home. Right. The time they pay everything, which is pretty high because, you know, I get paid low, but I get the miles. You know, I do, yeah. you see me do 42, 4,600 miles in a good week. Of course, that, that trucker's leaving home. He, he don't know what he's talking about. No. No, he, he's waiting. No, we decided to get along with everybody because that's what needs to be done. Exactly. But, you know, we're on the subject, you know, and people are, you know, somebody makes a comment that if Ike and Dog are paying too much for their equipment, well, that's kind of a bunch of BS, because like I said, look at the equipment I'm driving. It's more yeah. expensive than what they're paying. Yeah. And, and they haven't got a $12,000 AQ sitting on their truck either, so that adds the cost to almost $262,000 in equipment on this truck. All right. So what they got is a pretty good deal, because they, they got, you know, utility trailers, which are cheaper. Yeah, they Great are. Dane's always been expensive, you know. Well, the heavier steel on the load. But like I said, everybody should just get along. Why fight and cause the drama, you know? It's like, you want to get on the drama train? Well, get on the drama train. Have right. fun with it. Right. Everybody should just, you know, that's always been my goal with this channel ever since we started. Get along with everybody. And even though I might not like somebody too well and all that, that, uh, you know, we just need that's always been this channel's yeah. goal. Is to get I mean, along even, with even before YouTube and all these computers, even though CB, there's always been disagreements one way or another. Yeah, but trucking used to be more of a family back in the yeah. 70s. Yeah. You didn't get all this bickering. And, you know, people people choose who they work for, and if they want to make a dollar per mile at Cree, so let them be. They're the, you know, that's their choice, that's but their it's choice. not the best choice to make it. You know? Right. But like, you know, now, if somebody's working for like Travel Local and where you've got control of how much your loads are, you know, if I went to Travel Local, I'd tell them I'm not hauling anything under 250 a mile. Don't even send it to me. Mm. Because I won't even look at it. When you're there. I mean, this company don't haul anything under $2 a mile. They won't put it on the truck. It's cheaper for them to have the driver in the truck sit than haul that cheap freight. Right? That's the way they see it. I don't know how the passport is out on that, but. If, like, this no gals load, I'm sure it's paid really good because yeah. the rates out in the gals are like through the roof right now. So, for me to able to take this load and then sit here and do a 34, it's probably worth it for me. Oh, yeah. I won't get compensated for the 34 hour reset, but all, all that 10 hours down in the gals are getting unloaded, reloaded, and all that, I'll get compensated for that. Comments are flying in. Yeah, we don't need any more drama. Let's keep away from the drama. Let's just all get yeah. along. Even if even if they don't their opinions we don't like, you know, it's like, you know, my my stand I'm still not part of the seventy three line because I have my own thing I do. Yeah. But you know, you know, seventy three land is part of a good deal because they're all they doing is just a it's a group that's supporting the um trucker's final mile. Yeah. Now if they would, thing. you know, if they supported the group I was supporting, maybe yeah. we kinda of merged there. I have my forty two coffee club. <laughs> where, where we have coffee and just sit down and be friends with everybody. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You're not going to South Carolina, you're coming home with me. I need a nanny, so you can come home with me. Yeah. It's, I do actually. What I wish it? I could get my wife a nanny. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, let her on the road for you. Well, that, and she can get a break. And 
Exactly. Because yeah. she's working 40 hours. That really makes me feel bad because she's got to work 40 hours so we can keep ahead, you know. Yeah. And we're keeping it. Just barely keeping ahead. And this month is going to work out really good for us. I'm going to start for a <laughs> No, you're not. See you later. Have a good walk. <laughs> Come back says now, you hear? I took your daddy's keys, so you're not going nowhere. Yeah, he's got my key. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you know. Adios, amigos, arriba! <laughs> <laughs> like I said, that's been always the goal of this channel. Try to get along with everybody. Do exactly. cool lab videos with everybody. Exactly. All that. You got a channel, you just don't put much on it. No, I just can't. I'm not very creative like you guys are. I just, I just don't do it. You don't have to be creative. Just get on there and sing. Sing? Yeah, sing us a good Christian I, song. Shoot, I get I get banded off on of YouTube. Stay safe, Curtis. Thanks for dropping in. Take care, Curtis. Staying high and all that. Maybe Stay one, safe, buddy. Maybe one of these days we'll have a little dog on live. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Chuck or Steve, who's down in Phoenix at night. He, when I was in Phoenix the first time, I was like, well, I'm going to be in Phoenix. He goes, damn, I'm going to Montana. I go, boy, wouldn't that have been just surprised everybody seeing you on a collab video? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, yeah, I missed him. Dude, he was down in his area and he was up in your area. See, you and your daughter can sing together. That would make good YouTube video. <laughs> I, I recorded some things on SingSnap. I nine. use a smule. Smule? Smule. Oh. That's a karaoke app. That way nobody can put, yeah. has to put up with it on my channel anymore. Yeah. But I like to sing. I used to be able to sing before <clears throat> manhood came and took the voice away. <laughs> my wife, I think, you know, we've known each other for 30 years. So she remembers that time when I could sing. Yeah. And now you got Erica, which is pretty like my, my grandma could sing. And boy, how could she ever? And um, I think Eric is going to be that route too. Trish sings like uh, tries to sing like Loretta Lynch. She did a pretty good job too. We are down here at the pilot. What city are we in? It's uh, it's near Lagrange, Kentucky. Yeah, so come on down, Trish. Who says hey? Diacon 2020. Diacon. Hey, Diacon. Yes, our special guest Terry this time. The Cookie Room. <laughs> There's a Cookie Room. Mike. I copycatted the Rookie Room. Well, I'm going <laughs> to tell you a little story about that. I had the cookie room when I had the old channel from 06 to 10. Yeah. It was just me singing, being showing storms and moving off, and the videos were really crappy. Yeah, that channel got copyright strike for some of the years. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that guy and the guy shut down, and that's how Trucker Eric's journey got started. Yeah. I miss that channel. Oh, yeah. Then I got another channel, and it's got 50 billion subscribers on it, nobody knows about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. yeah. That's a good story, right? Yeah, good story. <laughs> good story. Well, that's your story and you stick to it anyway. Yeah, that's you? sticking to it. <laughs> I keep thinking every morning I'm going to wake up and I'm going to look at the calendar and it's going to say one million subscribers out of nowhere. And I'm going to be like, <laughs> yeah, I can retire now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if this channel did like three million subscribers, I wouldn't have to do trucking videos anymore. I could go do other content. Yeah. Loretta Lynn, well, come on down here and sing for us, darling. We want to hear you. Yeah. We want to hear you sing. Uh, I, I read something on uh, Sunday that uh, Loretta Lynn wasn't doing too good, right? That she's still suffering that stroke. Yeah, we kept up on her too much. Yeah. I know Randy Travis is trying to come back after his stroke. Yeah. If he does, he'd be surprised. Yeah. Oh. Well, Loretta, she's 85, so been singing with. 50, 60 years. Longer than I've been alive. Yep. <laughs> yep, me too. Way longer than I've been alive. Yeah, they got good deals on their truck. I wouldn't buy a Volvo with a Volvo motor. Three li liabilities an issue right there. Yeah. The cost of fixing things. Well, it seemed like, uh, you know, Little Dog and Ike's got some pretty good trucks. So far. Well, I had a feeling when, when those, when a uh, dog and little guy started getting those trucks, if I was to pay bet, bets on who would give up first, I would have won that bet. Because <laughs> I kind of feel like I knew the little guy, you know, he's a friend of mine, but I knew he wasn't going to make it. 
I guess just watching them over the years. And I know when the Bobos first came out back in the, I would say the 90s, maybe early or late 80s. Yeah, about more. The, yeah. Something like that when they first came out. Well, it used to be They Bobo used to be lousy. White. I they mean, a lot of people hated them. It used to be Bobo White. Yeah, Bobo White, yeah. And then White went, White Freightliner and Bobo kind of went their own way. Yeah. I think they kind of disappeared in the American market there for a little while and then came back. Yeah. They was, they was, uh, they, my driver didn't like them, but it seemed like they made them, it seemed like they made them better you know, since well, then. I had no Ford Bobo when I was with Swift. That thing was the biggest pile of junk on the road. Mm. Went to Jim Palmer and I had nothing but turbo and EGR issues with that Volvo and issues. So my buddy at Palmer was seven foot tall. I couldn't figure this out. His engine blew up in his Volvo. Blew the head gasket out. And I knew the engine in my Volvo was getting ready to do the same thing. I could hear that whistling out of the head. Yeah. If you ever heard that head gasket go on and come with the motor, you'll know that whistling sound. And I knew the head gasket was getting ready to go. Well, they asked if I would take a Peterbilt, and I said, no, I don't want a Peterbilt. I said, if you got a T800, I'll take that, and you can have my truck. So I got, hi, uh, I can't even, Mega, we'll just look Mega. Hey, Mega. So, uh, they, I was coming out of Clark Fork, or Sandpoint, where I was living at the time, empty, heading back to the yard, and they said, okay, we got a T800. So what they did is took one guy out of his T800 that wanted the Peterbilt, Put him in the Peterbilt. I got his Kenworth, and then my buddy's got my Volvo. Well, no matter. And three weeks later, that Volvo motor blew. That Cummins blew up. Yeah. I knew it. That was good timing. Yeah. But Kenworth, I've never had. Kenworth's been so damn reliable on me. I can drive the truck while I'm driven this one in the ground. It's looking after the last one. I pretty much drove in the ground. Still going. <clears throat> And that T800 I had, I had no issues with that either. It was an 05 with a C15 in it. So. Yeah, I was shocked when you told me that I can't quit making the engines. Yeah, I didn't know like that. Like 07, because of all the new emissions crap. They didn't want to have to do I the emissions. Wow. Now rumor is 2019 or 20 they're coming back. But if you want to go to Australia and pay the export taxes and fees and stuff, you can go get yeah, a Yeah, that's what it makes me look expensive. You gotta do that. You can go get a brand new C15 right out of out of uh, Australia. Yeah. They still make them down there. They ain't got all the emission crap like yet. We do. Well, on the way to Florida, we need to get Trish to get us to get us one. Supposed to head to Florida, South Carolina. Maybe she can jump over the ocean and go yeah. to get us to get us a big old yeah. truck. Put a cat motor in it. Put a cat motor in it. Well, you listen to this motor in the videos. It sounds hey. like a cat motor. We'd be like Johnny Cash, one piece of time. Yeah. One piece of time. <laughs> well, and when you fire this motor up, it sounds like a cap motor too on the bottom. Yeah, it does. It's got that C12 sound to it. Yeah. And you almost think it is a cat on there, but it's just an MX13. Little engine. Little engine that could. <laughs> that thing flies right up hills. Like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I noticed that when you was going across 212 up there, how it was just trucking around long. Yeah. It don't slow down for nobody. <laughs> Trucking right along. Look out, well, in the most Cummins I've had, I've been lucky if I could pull a lookout pass at 31 or 32. You want a meter, huh? Well, start walking. It's in the Nashville that way. That way, yeah. That way. Head that, that way. way. <laughs> just, don't, just pass those trees over here. There's Nashville. Any truck drivers out there that want to give Trish a ride to Nashville to look for Loretta Lynn? <laughs> No, she wants to go to South Carolina, remember? Oh yeah, South Carolina. Then Florida. I'm not, I'm not sexy enough. You <laughs> gotta go over there. I have different beliefs in life, but that's beside the point. Over yonder. Over yonder. He's good, over yonder. <laughs> Lordy. Here I got the window down the east. He just blaring away. Yeah. That's a AP, that's your APU running. Yeah, I go through that vent, that vent, that vent. Pretty that good. Vent. Yeah, better for a hot day. Better than the engine running all the time. Yeah, I don't like the engine running anymore. Yeah. I've kind of gotten used to that, but when it's 
because I'm trying to keep my fuel balling system on even in Phoenix, I didn't even idle this truck. I pretty much just closed these middle curtains and let it get hot up here and yeah. stay cool back there. If it's when I need to sleep, like with 125 degrees, I take the top bunk down and then there's a sheet. And then I'll bring yeah. the sheet over and it'll cover up my bed area and it'll keep it colder up there. Yeah. Actually, while well, you put these back around there, because that sun's going to be right in your face here in a little bit. Yeah. The sun start going down. Well, that's why I turned these around because this black used to be out. Was it? Yeah, and I turned these around, so. If you take me to meet Loretta Lynn, I'll sing for you. <laughs> How about you just sing for us, anyways? Yeah. Because we're worth the time. <laughs> we're worth the singing. Who else is in there? Yeah, who else are the other ones not speaking? Come on now. Come on, speak up. We don't buy. I might got them blocked. They might be just watching and getting mad because they can't make comments. I don't know. The haters can't hate. Oh, come on now. We want to hear you sing. <laughs> don't make me start singing to you, man. I can find a radio station and start singing. <laughs> I got XM radio, y'all. Yeah, and when 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 do you think you ever see a mouse screen in the truck? I like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was, we didn't have this technology when I started. I mean, nope. we had gauges, and that was it. We didn't have no auto. This right here was my technology right, right here. Yeah, and it still gets used in this truck. <laughs> I only use my uh, navigation and reference points, especially at night. Please don't sing. Oh, we're gonna sing, aren't we, Terry? We're gonna find oh, yeah. a song and. Since Trish won't sing for us, we're going to sing for her. <laughs> What's in the old CD player? You got CDs? Well, that's Death Leopard. I don't think you know how to sing Death Leopard. Even though it's going to come up. See, my Bluetooth is safe. Oh, your daughter's laughing at us. Laughing at us? He's supposed to laugh at us. Laughing of your uh, hey, elders? Got he ain't got no cell service. Nah, I ain't got no cell service. She's probably rolling on the floor at home. Yeah, she's rolling on the floor, making fun of us. Dang. Sing Daddy. <laughs> we're, we're working on that. I haven't got the CDs here. What have we got on the CDs? Oh, that's, that's the CD. See, man? That navigation don't work. It yeah. locks up on me and says, screw you. You figure it out yourself. <laughs> and it does, man. Oh, wow. Octane. White country. So we'll uh, we'll keep the top. We go bluegrass message. Hey, why did my phone come up again? See, and everybody's like, "Well, you can't go hands free and all that." Well, you just seen that. I can go hands free in my truck. <laughs> I can dial my phone from right there on the dash. One of her favorite Johnny Cash songs is "Ring of Fire." Ring of Fire. Yeah. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I'm looking. Well. Don't want to do no copyrights today. <laughs> no, and Johnny Cash will get us blocked, man. Yeah. Johnny <coughs> Cash, Ring of Fire. We'll, we'll someday make a video with you. Uh, he'll sing Ring of Fire and he'll send me the I video. Record, I, record, or I recorded it on uh, Sing Snap. Sing Snap, huh? Yeah. When I get home, I can sing it the file. Sing Snap, what is that, man? It, it, it's just like uh, a karaoke song. Yeah, I use Mule, but you have to pay for that. Some well, some of the songs uh, on there are free, but it's a, it's a pay site too, but you can, there's songs that you can do for free. Now you got me curious. Go singsnap.com. Singsnap.com. Yep. Alright. Get the big case out. Yeah, I still keep it on the track. We can get away with about 20 seconds. <laughs> now you got me curious. <laughs> now you got me curious. Yeah, I still keep my old CDs around. Oh wow, ACDC. Yeah. Sergeant Pepper Band. Wow. John Michael Montgomery. And we still go. <laughs> yeah, Daddy's got no phone service right here. I'm on AT&T because I'm smart. I don't know what this bomb 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 is on. <laughs> 
Yeah. I ain't got no signal at all. None. Huh, now you got me curious where it is. Boxcar Willie. Verizon is not the best. The problem with Verizon is I had Verizon once. Unlimited everything. This was back in 07. I ended up with three months of $1,700 phone bills and they couldn't explain why. Yeah, we got, don't get Sprint anymore. In I ain't got Northwest. one signal out, Trace. None. We don't get Sprint in the Northwest. <laughs> so, yeah, Sprint left us a long time ago. Just like all tell. Yeah. That's how I ended up on ATT. But uh, yeah, I ended up suing Verizon and winning that case. Did you? Yeah. I will never go back to Verizon. And actually, after I watch people's live feeds and they have to use We Boost and all that to boost their signals, they still get better service in a lot of areas. I can stay live longer on the move than they mostly can. Wow. I wondered if that We Boost was really uh, a good product. To I don't know, I've never tried it. I have a Wilson Boost in here under the bunk back there. I still have my old Wilson Boost from 05. That box, you know, that amplifies yeah. everything. Yeah. We're looking for Ring of Fire. We're going to go for the copyright. I don't think it's on the CD though. This is the movie soundtrack with Johnny Cash. Oh, there, there it is. is, there it is. There it is! Oh yeah! You mean this song, Trish? Love is a part of the thing. Yeah. We, we find Ring of Fire. Now let's keep the copyrights away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We found Ring of Fire. Yeah. We found it. It's right there. Ah, oh, Atomic Rewind. Welcome back to the channel after I unblocked you and thanks for letting me know about that video. We have to face like the copyright strike it. Are you down and sing? <laughs> you down to sing? No. Come on, sing! She said. I ain't able to. It's too hot, man. Even with the AC. Well, it doesn't help me have my window open. <laughs> He's trying to cool the outside. Yeah. That's <laughs> just the way I work, I guess. Yeah. Just the way I work. I mean, the shade will come over here. Eventually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, you can sing. You don't watch my channel very much when I do start singing, do you? <laughs> no one does see them. Then, no. I, then I get rid of the videos. <laughs> yeah. Well, they go into archives. I don't delete them. They go into private. Okay. I'll send you a private link later. You can watch one. I can't sing worth the crap, but my wife and my kids like it. My wife kind of cusses me out because I got Erica started on that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the new, the newer daddy sings, see? Now you're breaking your daughter's heart. Uh, you got enough uh, links where I've sung on sing since snap, so she should be able to She wants play. to hear you do it and try, everybody. That's All right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, he knows hey, the video ain't going nowhere. See those thumbs up? They're going to go like this if I did. <laughs> Probably already got a couple in there already. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll send you a link of me singing and then you'll get a good laugh. Yeah. 2000 Extreme. You have to sing now, Daddy. I can't do it, Chris. <laughs> Love. Is a burning flame. There. You happy now? <laughs> Can you remember the next line? I fell down in a burning ring of fire. <laughs> For some reason on the Xbox, because we have a uh, Rock Band 3, yeah. I sound better on the Rock Band, on the machine, the, with the stereo system than I do in just goofing off. I don't know what that is. It might be in, in the acoustics or in the I'm bass or the I'm echo. tone deaf. Yeah. I'm very tone deaf. Tone if, deaf. I, if I don't have somebody singing with me, I can't. But that's why, because they're, they're singing along with me in there. And yeah. I can hear the tone in it. Yeah, I'm very tone deaf nowadays, so it's kind of hard to get the pitch right. I think it's 
John Lennon Imagine. We can do that song all day. Oh yeah. Perfect. And Leonard Skinner, Freebird. Freebird. I can do that song perfect all day too. How about Sweet Home Alabama? Home Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yeah, I could probably do that. Yeah, yeah. I just don't have the voice like I did when I was a kid. <coughs> so, you know, it's like I got a couple of my friends on Facebook, Chris and Doug, who I went to school with. They both can still sing just fine. Well, they're right. And we all used to sing in church choir all the time. I'm like, what the heck happened to me? Because I, after high school, I just kind of went away from you. I didn't continue practicing. Now you got Sabrina who's in choir in school and she's trying, you know, to get her voice. Yeah. I mean, it's fun when your daughter's sitting in a seat and you're going down the road like last year and you're just singing away to any song and not caring. But... Right. She gonna go out on, you, on the next trip? I wonder if sister, so I don't know. Oh, okay. She'll have to take a trip with me this summer, at least once. I'll force her, but she needs to. That's daddy's girl right there. Is it? Daddy's girl right there. They don't leave my side when they leave home. No, little dog's got his daughter out and about. Well, my friend James yeah. Bank Jr.'s got his son with him. Yeah, I know Sabrina. Well, they, we had court this month. And I didn't make it back to the house. I didn't even see the house last time out, so I wasn't able to grab her either. Technically, yeah. it's about the time she goes. Road trip! Yeah, he's gonna take you to North Idaho. You're all coming up to visit me. You're not going south. Carolina. <laughs> Forget that. South Carolina's the wrong way. It's in the other direction. Time for you to run. Where are you running? I ain't going nowhere until tomorrow morning. I'm on a reset. I'm finally getting a Sunday break, which is kind of nice. We've been running hard for three weeks. Like I you know. Stop. We can get one load off, hook onto another one, take that's, off. That's move. a little jump for me. The guy, no gallus to here, anyways. No gallus. Uh, gallus to here was 1,891 miles. I, 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 I was guessing it was 1,900. My lawn needs to be mowed too. My wife said actually, neighbor came over and we whacked the yard for it. We don't have a lawn more. I haven't had the money to get one. <laughs> Buy you go. Well, technically, if I'm home is what I do is take the pickup to my father-in-law's house 10 miles away, grab his trailer and his lawnmower, his riding lawnmower, and truck it back to the house and mow the lawn down and then I we use his weed eater and we, yeah, that hasn't worked too well. <laughs> Everybody's leaving us now. Yeah. Everybody's leaving. I guess they ain't tired of looking at me. Hell or hour. I don't blame them. The hour is almost up, they know it. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta head on back to the house here in a little bit anyways. I might uh, take, I might go down by South Carolina to turn and come back. I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't see what you <laughs> He's gonna go take care of that guy for you. Yeah. It's a father thing, you'll never understand. Try to do some bonding. <laughs> yeah, some bonding. <laughs> My, my daughter's engaged to her boyfriend, and I can tell my wife, you know, he hasn't asked me to marry her yet. <laughs> Until he does, you can't marry her. I had to ask my wife that, so it's only fair. Yep. My oldest daughter's stubborn like me, so uh, we bump heads a lot. <laughs> I think it's just too much of life. Uh, but I love her to death. She's I know you guys are girls, ain't it? I couldn't have one boy. <laughs> yeah. I got two girls and one boy. I think Erica will be like Dad, Daredevil. She is a Daredevil like me. Trish is the oldest. Oldest? She's the oldest. He is the oldest. Sabrina so you, you was, the middle, was the youngest, then the middle child. Now she's somewhere in between the middle. Oh, wow. And Erica and then Cecilia. I seen that picture of Cecilia yesterday. I was like, holy cow, she's gaining weight like her sister is. Mm. Such a little thing when she was born, now she's just all gaining weight and looking healthy. Erica's a little t 
taller and bigger for her age. I noticed that when she was up against her cousin, who was the same age. Holy cow! <laughs> Erica's like that much taller than her. Yeah, we'll end this one. His hour, your hour is up, people. Yeah, I'll give it time for that for one wreck. It was out there on 146 a while ago. It's cleared up, I think. You didn't take video of it? You didn't get the camera. Took video <laughs> put it to your YouTube channel. Yeah. Got a million views and made a million dollars. That's it. Yeah, YouTube's like a lottery. Got one video that can hit a million views. No, he's bringing me over to your house. We're gonna party it up all night. <laughs> Did that to Howard yesterday. I didn't want to see you, I wanted to see your wife. <laughs> oh, I do that to people all the time. I know. And I roll with it. Hey, the wipers work. Hey, it sure do. And I got more bugs. Is all those bugs from. Arizona? You, you, you want my number, you said? I can give you my number. <laughs> we can talk all night. <laughs> you know what we're going to talk about. <laughs> they ain't got no signal, I don't think. You're on Sprint. I must be. Wait a minute, I've got two bars. Oh, he's got two bars now. Nope, not no more. <laughs> I jinxed him. <laughs> I should have kept my mouth shut. Are you paying for all the gas and the food and the motel to go to South Carolina? Yeah. Well, ain't no growing trees, you know. Yeah. I'm still looking for that money tree. Money tree. Everybody, everybody, only one person talking out of five. That's got the rest of the block. Okay. There's some people I can't even find to unblock them. But we went on a blocking spree the other day and it was kind of fun. Yeah. I'm not the only one that does that. My wife's got control on the other end. And I make a few X-Men on my channel too. But yeah, I'll get a short nap tonight. Get up, get going, do my thing, I guess. Yeah. I'll do my best to get up early. Yeah, I'll get up before the Cincinnati traffic is. Yeah. You get through there by six, you know, through six o'clock, six thirty, you'd be alright. I ain't too worried about it. I used to take the back roads around. <laughs> I hear you. How'd that work out? That worked out good. I don't know where my harmonica went. I have not been able to find it ever through. I've moved into this truck. Hmm. I have a harmonica. She can't find it. Not a lot. Maybe I left it in the old truck. Might be in my crack at home too. I still have one gone through. But... Six people here. Wow. 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 For dry eyes. Use clear eyes. We got nine likes. Nine, nine likes. Cool. I am so popular, man. Yeah, I am too. Hey. <laughs> We have invited Trucker Jukebox and he didn't even show up. Or he's watching us and thinking, I can't type in here, what are you talking about? <laughs> he probably watching and driving, but no one him. No one him, yeah. yeah. He stayed pretty busy too. I'm surprised that a lot of people still running because about this time of the year. Still wants to hear you think. About this time of year, you're all the way through July. Pretty slow. Not for us, we got cherry seeds and produce. Yeah, oh, cherry, right. cherry season picks up. It's a little behind because of weather this year, but start picking up in a couple of weeks. Plus, we'll then move again. Uh, my airbags are down. Can you tell? Because if I had the airbags up, the truck sit like this. I love them without. Yeah. I think this truck would look better in my driveway if you want to keep it there. Yeah, I don't think my boss would like that. He won't have to move. Where the skin will sleep. <laughs> this thing needs a bath. We should be getting one this week. Look all nice and green and clean again. Yeah. And then Trish will come and wax it in the bikini. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. 
<laughs> She's like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to get my wife to wax my truck in a bikini and film that. <laughs> I'm here laughing at you too. <laughs> she probably laughed. She got these bozos. Trish will what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind. That's okay, Trish. Inside joke, you'll never know. That's all right. <laughs> You'll never know. If my wife was here, she'd know. She'd be like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear you. My wife, uh, I guess because of the husband telling her ugly and all that, she, uh, she doesn't like showing off her body anymore either. Like, well, how? That's kind of a shame because, damn, you're hot. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody ends up asking, how do you end up with a hot wife? I don't know. I don't know either. I beat up her cousin who was twice my size in school because he didn't want me to gay her. I won that yeah. fight. <laughs> Jumped right over two desks in class and tackled them to the ground. <laughs> Back when I was a little frog here. We, we said we wanted you, I wanted you to come and wax the truck for me. gonna get it washed and somebody can wax it. I don't have to worry about it getting dirty again so fast. I can keep it clean long enough to get it home to wax it be nice. I hear you. It'd take all day just to wax on this thing. I mean when I drove between, between Oklahoma City and Kingman, Arizona, I, every truck wash was full because people wanted to get their truck clean to go into California. <laughs> I mean everyone would be full. Yeah, wash those trucks before California DOT won't bother you. Yeah, right. They're they going to bother you whether it's clean or not. I never had a problem with California DOT. I did one time and uh, it was up here on the grapevine. And they did a little inspection. I passed, so no big deal. Seems like Idaho and Montana give me the most. There's no South Dakota. I haven't had a DOT inspection in over a year though. You can tell I don't even have my nice CSA sticker on the windshield. Mm -hmm. Pulled the old one off. Haven't had one since. Sure. California was the last one to put one on there. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just texted my buddy since dad didn't have service. Mm -hmm. Well, if you start walking, you'll get to South Carolina in maybe 30 days. Yeah, there's a Greyhound going about down that way every hour. Yeah, catch a Greyhound, find an Amtrak train. Yeah, plenty of ways to get there. Yeah. You close to the railroad track down there, just hop on the boxcar, hit south. Yeah. Southeast. Come boxcar Willie, man. <laughs> boxcar Trish. <laughs> call you Hobo Trish. Let us know when you get there. No, you don't need a ticket. You just wait by the railroad track. Try to jump right on the first train that goes by. <laughs> don't get caught. <laughs> jump on the train. Hope it's going to South Carolina and not Idaho or Montana. Well, I guess. Subway. Subway this year. Yeah. Taco Bell. Eating a lot of that too. Mm -hmm. Anyways, everybody seems to be quiet. Yeah, it seems like. We're not popular people, man. No. Uh, We're just two old truck drivers. Old truck drivers. Then we don't know nothing. We don't not know a nothing. thing. We don't know nothing. Don't ask me any information. I've been 24 tell years. You. I never learned a thing. I still don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't even know how to drive in the winter time. I don't know how to drive in the snow. I couldn't tell you how to do it. Is you you got the remote control for the put the chains on? No, I just uh, find a girl like Trish to put them on. <laughs> 
There's an app you can, you can put on your phone and puts a chain tone for you. Oh, does it really? Wow, I'll have to try that app. What's the name of that app? Uh, you have to Google it. Have to Google it? Google it. So when I push, push the app to help the chain, Trish shows up to put chain on right That's it? That's it. For free, oh. For free. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Looking up, I'm done. Back when I drove across, especially across the, the cabbage, where you put them on your tire at night, you gotta have chains. Yeah, still that way, too. Still that way? Oh, but it ain't safe to chain. It ain't. No, that's what they, that's what the new drivers say. Oh, okay. They're only to get you out. Right, right, right. Yeah. They, they don't, they're just scared. No. Well, what is more safe for putting you, okay. You're driving down the road at 45, 50 miles an hour, and couple inches of snow and ice driving through it then you come to a mountain you gotta put your chains on exactly now you gotta go 25 miles an hour which is more safer to me the chains yeah because you're going slower exactly you're gonna do less damage and you're, going, you're gonna get more grip too you're gonna do less damage a lower speed crash and you're not really gonna get hurt exactly. unless you're rolling that truck off the mountain but that might be a different story. That's true. When this roof comes down on you, because all it is up here is fiberglass now. Yeah, I know. It. They don't build it. There's Good no steel and metal anymore. There's no crash safety rating mandatory for trucks. There should be, but yeah. Freightliners are the worst for accidents. You see their cabs, are just, they destroy easy. Yeah. These, these T680 things ain't any better, but they're double wall now. They're not one layer wall like they used to. So you can tell like this pillar right here is thick. Yeah. Double wall everywhere through. The roofs are easy to remove all of these things. Is it? Yeah they did. They had to do it with one of our trucks. But he took the roof off. Went under, went under something they shouldn't have. There's a prime back there backing up. Very thought. Shall we shoot a duck? We're gonna duck, man. <laughs> Trish don't want to see a real man. She wants to see some guy we don't even know. Yeah, down there in South Carolina. They used to be in Florida. Hey, isn't that, what, if he was in Florida, he's in South Carolina, but he's gonna go back to Florida again. Something's wrong here now. Maybe he's got another wife down there. He might have it. He might have another feller. Trish, you got another fella down there? He might be married. He might be a married man, so he's going to <laughs> South Carolina to meet your daughter secretly. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> he'll go back home to his wife and stuff without telling his wife. Wouldn't it be better to just tell his wife, hey, I'm going to South Carolina and Myrtle Beach for the weekend and I'll hook up with a woman and I'll be back? That's what yeah, he did. that's it. That's it. I will never marry again. Ne don't say that. <laughs> yeah. I said that after first and second time. What happened? Married third time. <laughs> well, I said it after my third marriage. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I hung it up. Hung it up. I hung it up. We're saying your man is probably married in Florida and you're getting away with him on the weekend. <laughs> so your daughter's dating married man. Oh. Uh, that's, one, that's one thing I'm sure she, she knows what she's doing, so. We got you now. We, yeah. we figured you out. No, you can't go to South Carolina. Not today, anyways. Maybe uh, next month we'll think about it. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were ducking out of here. Yeah, I need to get one again. Get them back on to the I'm house. talking to him on the phone. Yeah? How's that working out? Can we have his phone number so we can talk to him? Yeah, I want, I want to check his dude out. Yeah. We'll put him on live right now. <laughs> not on Xbox, I bet. Mean. Well, what's his phone number so we can call him right now? We'll put him on live blast. Nope. Nope. What, are you scared? Whatever. 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 <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Never getting his number. Well, I tell you what, though, I know truck has changed and stuff, but all the technology, I mean, 
really the technology helps as far as the, your, you know, your e-log, not the e-log, but your uh, GPS's and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and look at all the gauges I got too. Right? Uh, and like I tell drivers, you need to, when you're driving down the road, you need to be able to read all these gauges. They can tell you a lot on a truck. Exactly. This right here, my oil temp, yes. I, I can tell my, something's not right because I've been almost hitting 250. That's telling me my radiator is probably starting to plug up or the oil cooler is plugged up. Could be the oil, the oil sending unit. Yeah, that too. But also my axles and transmissions tell me a lot too because if they get too hot, then I'm low on fluid on the axle. I got an issue. And then you got your suspension load gauge, which helps me. I mean, you can get it right there on a cell phone and get your directions and all that stuff. Or then you got your turbo boost, and that's how you know if the turbo is being rating. Because normally I'm about 38 pounds of boost. And to have all that, we just Barry had a tack and speed on there. Fuel gauge, air pressure, and oil pressure. Well, you got your fuel gauge right there, your water gauge, your oil pressure, your bolts, and then now death, and then yeah. your air first and second, and then your brake application. Yeah, they was talking about that dip by the time I was coming on out the road. And then you got more gauges. So I got my torque. I got my DPF filter. Miles per gallon, which is red twice through the period too. Another boost gauge. And there's more gauges here when the engine's fired up. And then you got yeah. your amperage and your fuel filter. So I know when my fuel filter's plugging up when it gets too far up. Oh yeah. I got all DR549. From <laughs> Geekhog, remember? BR549. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got an Xbox right back there. <laughs> right there. Right on my uh, right underneath my TV. All that neat stuff. <laughs> yep. I mean they're now four. Or is that nine? That ain't his number. Come on now. You can't BS some people who have been around the block a few times. Can I have your number? What did I step myself into for an old <laughs> We'll find you a really good guy, a sugar daddy. Yeah. yeah. You gotta find Terry a girlfriend too. Yeah, right. <laughs> Anybody wants me. That's alright. That's okay. alright. I can do what I want, go where I want, go to bed when I want, get up when I want, eat when I want. <laughs> Seems your daughter's wanting you to take her to South Carolina. That's one thing I don't want to do. <laughs> see, I go where, where I want and when I want. Well, let's and see. I don't want to. <laughs> it's gonna cost you fuel. Yeah. It's gonna cost you fuel for him to take you down there. And it's gonna be wear and tear on the car. So what is that? You know? Yeah. And then he's gonna charge you. Uh, let's see. And we're gonna have to stop at steakhouses because I ain't eating none of that McDonald's stuff. Yeah. We got to buy us a steak dinner at least. Yeah, and then you gotta pay for his motel room. Then you gotta pay him thirty cents, thirty-seven cents a mile for just driving you. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Whatever. 47. Whatever his going rate is. <laughs> so you're looking at probably a couple thousand dollars. Then. Right. Oh, battery getting low. Well, we gotta go anyway, then, do we? Yeah, we gotta go. Battery's dying. Off. Bye, everybody. Bye. Y'all take safe. care. See you when I get home, Trish. Yeah, I'm coming to your house too, Trish. Thanks everybody for watching. Y'all be safe out there. We'll see you soon. There's no vlog.